everyone, hope you are all fitting well and getting some nice weather, more crucially the clear skies part. Myself, I have not been out oh, doing any astrophotography about four, four and a half weeks or something like that. So absolutely buzzing that I'm out tonight and I'm definitely going to capitalise on the clear sky. I've decided to deploy two rigs, uh, my newer, bigger rig and my small rig that I'm quite used to, that I've been using the last couple of years. So what we'll do is I'll take you through each one at a time and let you know what's going on with them. Any regular channel will know what this rig's all about, but if you're new to the channel, the mount that I'm going to be using is the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro. The scope that I've got mounted on there is the William Optics Zenith Star 61, and the camera that's mounted on the back of that is the ESI 533MC Pro. Now I want to use this rig to capture some more data tonight on the Iris Nebula, which is, if I remember correctly, NGC 7023. Now, without giving away too many spoilers, um, it's, this is all about a filter that I've got in here, which is the ZWO IR block filter. And um, I've actually realized I've told a little porky. Uh, I have been out in the last four half weeks but it was only for about 10 minutes probably why I sort of dismissed it and said I hadn't been out but it did sort of highlight something and um, which I'm going to share in a later video now I'll hop over to the other rig and take you through what I'm going to be doing with that tonight okay so it's a little cozy up here shall we say so I'm going to have to be careful when I'm working around this rig tonight in case I give it a knock I am used to pushing this setup this far back in my yard I've done it on many occasions before well, like I said, I've just got to be careful. Um, in the past, I have given it a little gentle nudge when it's been up here, so it, yeah, it does happen on occasions, um, is what it is. So I do think it is the best place to have this positioned, this time of year in my yard, uh, to capture the every night sky that I'm wanting to capture tonight, which is, funny enough, in around the area of the star Seda, which is a star in the constellation Cygnus. Now, this is one of my most favorite constellations out there so many deep sky objects around this constellation and suits a number of focal lengths as well to be honest so the equipment I'm going to be using the mount is a small uh, Star Trek mount and it's the Skywatcher Star Venture Pro this is the older version you can get a newer Wi-Fi version now the scope mounted on top is also from William Optics and it's my Red Cap 51 and it's wide field uh, refractor telescope and the camera on the back is my Astro modified Canon 77D and it's a crop sensor DSLR. This matchup is, is brilliant, you can fit loads of disky objects in the field of view with this camera and uh, compared to the 533MC Pro that I've got on the other rig which is a uh, a smaller square uh, center you can't fit as much in that field of view so yeah I absolutely love it uh, the filter that I'm going for tonight is my clipping filter from Skytech and it's a crop amp filter in the settings I'm probably going to go for ISO 800 that was usually what I go for um, here um, in this yard and I'm not going to go any further than three minutes I think and um, so that's the plan of action. I'm gonna hop inside, I'm gonna take onto Stellarium. I also wanna show you an image of the area of Seda that I took last year and talk a little bit more about that. So I shall see you in a second. I brought this image into Photoshop and it's the image I took last year around about September time. And it's, it's not a bad image, it's about six hours worth of data. Looking at it now, there's a few things I don't like about it. The stars for one. And the star here, that's Seda. And next away is the, I'm not sure if it's the official name for it, but the Butterfly Nebula. And you, know, you can see the, the butterfly shape. Down at the bottom right hand corner is the Crescent Nebula. And it'd be nice to see what this would look like in a, a a scope with a bigger focal length, uh, something like this 3120 that I'm wanting to get eventually. It'd be a nice target to go for with that scope, I think. Lots of lovely um, nebulosity in there, and you, you can see the detail. It's uh, yeah, it's not bad, not bad at all. Now I'm not gonna be 
framing up the scene tonight as I have here and that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to take you over to Stellarium and talk you through what I'm planning quickly orientate you over here in uh, this minor is the pull star Polaris and if we just come slightly down here there's Cepheus some nice targets uh, elephants trunks in there just around this area here and if we come across again we've got Cygnus the swan so we'll go on to the center here um, like I mentioned got some nice targets here you've got the Veil Nebula here uh, the Pelican and North American Nebula over here nice target and let's zoom into the center here so what I'll do is I'll just click on there I'll bring this up which is set for my 77D and my red cat and this is what I'm hoping to do tonight so I want to keep the butterfly nebula in the frame but this time it's going to be on the uh, right hand side and I want to capture this area here hopefully um, so that's going to be down this area something a little different uh, hopefully it'll look alright you, know, you never know until you try these things this area here is some sort of uh, reflection nebula I think yeah, this is designated it's NGC 6914. So, yeah, that's the plan of action. Hopefully it'll turn out all right. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do now, I've still got to set up a little bit. I've just realised the it's got dark quite fast. So, yeah, I've got that to do. A bit of polar alignment on two rigs this time. And I suppose I'll just catch up with you all later on in the evening and let you know how it's getting on oh, okay well that went extremely well it's clear all night it's about it's come at the six in the morning now and everyone's starting to go to work i don't have to go to work today uh, so i get to catch up on my sleep luckily uh, so the the i caught on the iris nebula uh, looked pretty good the exposures were nice uh, I've just had a quick total um, of how many exposures I've got in total and um, something around about three hours ish uh, so I don't know if that's going to be enough or not I'll, I'll probably stack it all together today and have a quick look and if I need to get more data then yeah so be it I'll have to do another night um, and just keep going from there as for the Seda region had a look uh, it's about two hours worth I've got I'm not going to be able to, I was going to show you in the view screen, but the daylight not going to be uh, to see very well. So what I'll do is I'll uh, get up on my desktop uh, so we can have a better look. Yeah, so I'm going to have to be quick here because I have a feeling my children are going to be awake soon. And once they get up, um, that's it. The house is going to be loud. Um, always is first thing in the morning. Absolute chaos. So this is one of the single exposures. I, I went with ISO 800 and I did three minute exposures. Uh, it doesn't look too bad at all. The stars are looking okay there. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna bring this up slightly, just so we have a better look. I'll just bring the curves up. So yeah, there you see all the nebulosity there, and uh, butterfly nebula and cedar. So yeah, it'll be uh, interesting to see uh, what this two hours has got me and once it's stacked together um, and I'll get it uh, processed in Photoshop hopefully it'll be a, a nice image and for what I've got up to now yeah not, not bad at all all right well, that's, uh, that's it that's all I've got for you uh, what a what an amazing thing uh, a first for me two rigs at the same time and um, two different targets and and to be honest, I couldn't have went uh, any better. Um, I'm over the moon that it's, uh, it's went as well as it did. About, about time I had a bit of luck, to be honest. Uh, I've just had a quick look at the forecast as I was coming out there, and it looks like it's going to be clear tonight as well, so I am definitely going to be out uh, getting some more data on there. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get some more on the Iris Nebula if I need it, or switch to another target or whatever I don't know I haven't planned that far ahead but we'll see I suppose so on that note I hope uh, you've uh, enjoyed the video 
if I've got some half-decent half decent data and I'll see after I've processed it all in Photoshop, I'll, uh, I'll share the image or images uh, at the end of the video. So, take care everyone, please guys, and bye for now.